Hi, this is Linda Welsh, Linda Welsh Realty Group. You know, we often get asked what it's like to be a realtor or a real estate agent. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about that today because, um, you know, things are changing and a lot of times people are looking for a new career or they want to get a really good idea of, of how successful they might be given their, their talents. So I want to talk to you a little bit about what those things are that are, are present in almost every real estate agent's life, at least the ones that are successful. Number one, most importantly, is lead generation. Um, but what most realtors do first is they usually start with people they know. They, they have a sphere of influence, which are the people in their family, their friends, their neighborhood, their activities. And so these are the people they'll be in contact with at the very beginning to share with them that they're now a licensed real estate agent and that they can help them with their needs. Now those needs might be for the most part residential. Some people go into commercial real estate or development or something of that sort. But for the most part, we're gonna be talking about residential real estate agents. So number one is lead generation. Once you're, once you're in real estate, you're going to wanna to develop uh, a stronger base than just the people you know, although that's a good place to start. And so working a, a significant amount of time on lead generation is really essential to growing your business. Number two, are administrative tasks. This might be things like running searches for people, um, doing paperwork. As you get more and more successful, you'll probably need an assistant to help you with that. You may need a transaction coordinator, or you may need somebody that's gonna to put together packets for you, or is going to run around and put in signs, run errands for you, meet people, etc. that, you know, people that, that might help you to get that home sold or help that buyer. Uh, for the most part, if you're going to be meeting with buyers or sellers, they are also going to have to be licensed. All right. And the third thing we're going to talk about today is working with clients. So buyers and sellers are very different, but uh, of course they're related. And sometimes people will work with both. And sometimes people will join a team and maybe be a showing agent or a buyer's agent. That's a really good place to start. If you're brand new to real estate and you want to have somebody else help you get going, probably a good idea to consider joining a team because a team generally will do a lot of that lead generation for you and they, they'll have the foundation and the, uh, the expenses themselves. And then you'll be, you'll be able to hit the ground running and have some mentorship and some coaching along the way. So here's to you. I hope that you enjoy your new career if you choose real estate. And if that's something that's on the horizon for you, we would love to have a conversation with you. Hope you have a great day. Bye.